Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. It's going to be another raid Shadow Legends video. We're doing an account takeover today. Rock'em level 55, um, basically coming in at day 47. Um, really kind of, um, I guess, distressing story behind this one. So Rock'em is, is disabled, plays the game using a, a piece of kit that basically tracks his eye movements and he's able to select things in the game. Actually, generally, he's not able to do gaming because of that. So it's quite cool that he's found a game that he's able to get involved in. Uh, he just came to me and said, look, any chance you can help me out with a couple of areas of the game. Uh, he's actually developed his, his great haul pretty well. Um, he's got an insane amount of energy here. He must have been like just dropping the old energy bombs. But yeah, basically what we're looking at today is can we get a bit further in Ice Golems? So Ice Golems currently, we've got a team that is hitting level 19. He wants to get across that kind of 20 mark and get a kind of consistent team. Um, mainly because we're starting to come up now to some of the end game stuff and he wants to be able to clear his way to Arbiter. Uh, let me just have a check of the other dungeons quickly. So we've got Spider. Yeah, Spider's on farm. I think he's got the other stuff on farm. Dragon's on farm. And Fire Knights. Uh, Fire Knights actually got a long way to go. So maybe Fire Knights we can have a quick look at as well. Uh, and he's just asked anyway that I can also just kind of put a bit of time into Clan Boss. So we're doing here... Uh, we're doing here Nightmare, two key in, good champions. Mm, it does have counter attack in there. So yeah, two key Nightmare um, basically wants to push on from there and see if he can get some ultra Nightmare stuff going on. Uh, we're going to have a look now. So let's check out his champions. Um, he's recently got a Tormund, not geared. So I'm going to do some gear in there um, just as a kind of sideline. But yeah, let's see what we've got here. So fantastic champions, Venus, Razin, Tyrant, Valkyrie. Really cool champs. Um, miscreated monsters in there. Tyrell's in there. Yeah, he's got a really good setup here for someone who's been playing the game as long as he has. Um, and he's got a load more stuff in here as well. So, yeah. I mean, he's got three rays. Blimey. So, we've got PvP Meister here. Um, anyone we need to get out here. So, we've got another counter attacker in the vault. So, we could go double counter for... Clan boss potentially. Um, just trying to think if there's anything more that we should be getting out to do things like Fire Knights and Ice Golem. Cerise is always amazing, pretty much any content of the game. She might actually be quite useful for us for Ice Golems. Let's get her out, she could be useful. I mean, otherwise, there's some good champions in here. He's got Jareg. Doesn't really need him with this account though. Um, there's plenty of stuff in here to be playing around with, but we've got enough stuff that's already leveled up, I think, to do some work. So I think what we're going to do, I generally start by gearing out the clan boss team just because it's, it's for me, it's the easiest place to start. Um, what I want to do though, because I want to make sure we've got, I, I guess the reason why I do that is because once clan boss is geared up, often you can use two or three of your clan boss team in other content so the rest of the kind of builds become faster um, but i'm aware these videos tend to start by me showing clan boss so i'm going to gear up in my usual way but what i'll do in terms of slots here is i'm going to show you the dungeon content first and then flip to the clan boss stuff at the end um, so anyway let's get into gearing um, i'll show you just some of the gear sets he's got and i'll give my opinion on on how they're geared so we have got here a Venus, good speed, low on defense, a bit high on HP, but not bad. Not bad on accuracy. So this is quite a good nightmare build. We've got a Razin, way too low on defense, way too low on speed, low on accuracy. So this build needs a lot of work. We have got a Tyrant who is a bit slow, okay defense, good HP, good accuracy. Um, We've got a Morley, way too low on accuracy to do her job. Very good on speed, good on defense. So pretty much what I'm looking for when I'm saying this type of stuff is, you know, if it's Clan Boss for a particular speed set, I do have a, a video out for Clan Boss speed control. Now, for Nightmare, you want to be in between a bracket of 171 and 189. For Ultra Nightmare, you want your counter attacker to flip up to 191, but everyone else stays in that same um, speed zone. So that's your kind of speed you want. Anyone who's not in your clan boss team, you kind of want to try and aim for around 200 speed. If you're looking at these kind of, you know, level 15 plus dungeons, really. 200 speed is good. 
then on any champion, you really want to try and push them towards 3k defense if you're looking at any of this kind of mid to end game stuff. 3k defense is the minimum, but really you want to be pushing 4k if you've got the gear to do it. For things like accuracy, you want to be pushing 170 plus. If you're an ultra nightmare, you want to be pushing over 200, uh, probably more like 220. Um, and then we've got things like HP, crit rate, and stuff like that. All of that just falls in line afterwards. They are not as important. I look at speed, then I actually look at accuracy, then I look at defense, uh, and then I start building stats out from there for pretty much all content and most champions in this game. Um, so it gives you a flavor. Uh, so for me, what would I run on Clan Boss? I would probably run Tyrant. I would run Valkyrie. I would probably run Razin. One, two, three. I would run Venus, four. And then I expect I would probably run... Do we have a decrease attack in that? I don't think Tyrant's got it. No. So then it would probably be Tyrell. Saying that, do I need Razin is the question here. So we've got decrease defense and weaken. We've got poison and HP burn all, all wrapped up here in a nice little package. Um, we've got decrease attack in my Tyrell. Tyrant gives us ally protection. Ally protection should not be underestimated. It's really good. So we actually go, and is, is he defense based? Yes, brilliant. So what we want then is people that are going to improve us with that defense-based champ. So we've got one, two, three, four defense-based champions here. If we had somebody who increased defense and crit rate and block debuffs, we could have a good little champion here. Yeah, so Morsian Mage becomes pretty amazing in a team that's packed up with defensive champions. Um, I mean, there's even argument to say... <laughs> Is, is Venus even the right champion for this team? But I think she is. I think she is. Um, yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do. So I think we're going to go Tyrell lead, uh, Tyrant, Venus, Valkyrie, Morsi and Mage as our clan boss team. And I think for things like Ice Golems, I mean, Miscreate Monster is always going to be in a team that's focused on dungeons. He's amazing. Venus will probably slip away into that as well. Valkyrie will probably get into it as well. So we're already at three. Probably a Tyrell for AoE decreased defense. Uh, albeit, I think Venus, maybe she does that. Is it AoE? Yeah. So Venus will actually be doing that job anyway. Um, so we've got one, two, three for sure. Mostly a mage is probably going to come in and Apothecary will probably come in. So we end up with two supports, one debuffer, one kind of support stroke damage, and one shield stroke damage. And you'll find the supports start doing a lot more damage when you've got someone like a Venus in your team. So... Let's get onto it. Let's get gear and some champions and start showing you some content. What do we look for in gear then? So um, we've got a number of items here, which is good. What I'm looking for is, you've guessed it, have we got a load of flat stats sitting here, which is just a complete waste of our time. Um, so I know Fighting Cows, if you haven't seen it, he's actually done a really good video saying, don't always be in your flat stats. And you know what? I don't disagree with his, his point at all. But what I would always do is I'd always just bin my flat stats in something like an attack set gear. Um, you know, you don't want to be wasting your silver on items in gear sets which you're just not going to use. So what I'm looking for here is, is there stuff we're realistically going to use? Um, so we've got a load of four-star items. Defense base we may use, but probably not. We probably would never use this attack based gauntlets because crit rate or crit damage is way better. If it was a six star, I probably would keep it. As a four star, I'm not going to keep it. And then we've got some stuff already rolled up here. So we've got a flat stat rolled up. It's rolled triple speed, but with two other terrible flat um, substats. So my question then, uh, Fighting Cows, if you watch this, would you keep this item? For me, it's a definite in the bin. I, just, I can't see that you'd ever keep it. I can't see that that's ever worth putting on your team. If this was in a speed set, it's a different story. Speed sets, flat stats don't necessarily go in the bin. If we find speed, this is a flat stat, that's definitely in the bin. If we find speed though, as a flat stat item like this, this is viable for somebody who is only in your team to boost speed and you expect to clear the enemy team straight away. That's the only kind of solution where that could work. Otherwise, it's just never worth keeping it. 
So I go through all the gear like this one here, off it goes, there's nothing worth keeping there. So yeah, I'm gonna go through all the gear, cleanse it out, and then we can get back to gearing these champs. Okay, so we've got 132 items going straight in the bin with normal sets. Um, we're still leaving ourselves a decent amount, so we've still got over 300. It gives us a decent chunk of silver as well. Uh, I've got to say, we're dealing with a bit less silver than we normally deal with on these takeovers. So we've got, just after selling there, we've got 12.4 million. It sounds like a lot, but actually, once you start re-gearing people, you can burn through 12 million in no time at all. Um, what I'm going to do is also just go through artifacts and kind of just talk you through what I'm doing here. So ideally, I'd say on 90% of builds that you do, you would ideally have a defense ring uh, on 90% of champions that you do. So even if you've got an attack based champion, they have to live. They have to live. If you're doing a clan boss build, you would want it on pretty much 100% of people. Maybe you've got the odd champion that's HP based and they, they have shields that scale up HP, like a warlord. Even then, I'd probably put a defense ring on him. It gives you flat stats defense, the highest um, flat stat defense you can get in the game. Um, so we're not finding many defense rings here. Uh, so take this one here. So if you upgrade this one to full, you get flat stat 225 defense. That will be the same on any champion in the game. Now, why that's important is that if you've got someone who's got a low base defense, like a Venus. So Venus at the moment is in an HP ring. Now, if she got a defense ring on her and got that extra 225 defense, it's worth a big chunk of her base stat. Whereas a percentage roll like this is worth quite a small chunk of a base stat. So put defense rings on your attack based champions 90% of the time. Um, if you're wondering why your guys keep dying, it's because they don't have enough defense. Honestly, every time I do these takeovers, people are like, wow, I can't believe you just doubled my damage. So I know, and pretty much all I did was improve your defense. Like it's such a massive stat in this game. When you're kind of at the, the end game and you're starting to get over 3,500 defense, we've got a different conversation because then you've got decisions to make. Do I need more or not? If you've got 3,500 already, then you start looking at other stats like HP and crit rate and damage. You don't at this stage. At this stage of the game, you're looking for survivability. That's why we've got people in lifestyle sets. That's why we're looking for defense. Now on clan boss in particular, I would almost always put a defense amulet on somebody as well, if you can do it, or an HP. This amulet here, so what we're looking for for an amulet, generally we're looking for resistance, uh, sorry, resistance, accuracy, and survivability on anyone in clan boss. If we're looking for a damage dealer through dungeons, then maybe you go crit damage. If you're looking for a nuka in arena, you might go crit damage. Otherwise, yeah, again, nine times out of 10, it is defense. Defense is the king stat on these items. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get into finishing this off and then we can start giving people up. Okay, so we're gonna start with ice, uh, with finites actually. We're gonna start with uh, finites. I'm gonna run the apothecary who I've built up, basically speed gear, some defense. Um, yeah, it's mainly speed. It's a speed build with defensive stats. Uh, we've then got ourselves a Valkyrie. The Valkyrie has been built up to be ready for clan boss as well. 172 speed, decent uh, defense, and uh, the rest of the stuff's kind of irrelevant. And we've got Venus. So Venus is again built for clan boss, but she's gonna be good everywhere. Better defense, good speed, good accuracy. And we're gonna use ourselves a Kale who was already pre-built, so I've not done anything different here. And a Cold Heart who was again already pre-built. Um, Cold Heart's build is not good, but I'm basically out of silver already. So let's just crack on and see if we can't get through a couple of stages of finites. So this is as far as the account I've got. Obviously you've got Venus in here that just puts these crazy debuffs out there. So we should probably just nuke through these guys pretty quick. Um, AOE HP burns, AOE decreased defense and attacks. It's just all kind of crazy from Venus. So yeah, you don't need much more than her. Her and a Valk in a team comp like this. We're probably gonna take a bit of damage here. But again, we're kind of just setting ourselves up to get through this part of the, the content. And maybe, because I haven't built the Kale and the Cold Heart, I think their builds are not amazing, but 
Um, they should be enough to get through this level at least. You see there we didn't land our reduced healing because the cold heart's accuracy is just not high enough. Which means he's going to heal up quite a bit each time. We've got counter attacks up though, so Valkyrie's doing that work for us. It means we're just going to get straight through the shield. And at this stage it should be relatively easy. Did get the drop turn meter. So yeah, so this feels like it's a, a pretty clean run. We get one more slam on us. Hopefully, I mean, the counter attack just went up at an awful time. Actually, all of these abilities right now are going up at an awful time, but there you go. That's the way it works. Hopefully, we'll just get the nuke to finish this off. Can we? Not quite. Yeah, there we go. One minute twenty-five. So that's actually a really fast run. Pretty happy with that. Uh, that same team can take us through at least to stage seventeen. So I'm happy with that setup. We'll pass that one back for him to work through. Uh, let's do ice golems as well. Ice Golems is just all about level 20 here, so we want to get blue champions or green champions. Um, so again, who have I built up already? I've built up my Valk, I've got my Venus, I've got my Apothecary. Uh, I'm going to bring in Ty, uh, Tyrant, who's very good here as well, and Tayrel, uh, all of which have been built up, ready to go for Clan Boss except Apothecary. So the Clan Boss builds are going to be pretty similar. High defense, high speed, good accuracy. As long as you get all of those things, then it works for high level dungeons as well. They're all in lifesteal gear here, apart from the apothecary as well. So I can't see this, this run being a problem at all. Everyone's got some form of masteries at a decent level as well. You see there, 20 odd seconds first wave, that's good. Get the reset now on the decreased defense and uh, weaken. Obviously there's always a danger here with these front two that could cause us problems. We do have counter attack up though, so it's better to have counter attack here than some kind of someone going in full nuke. But this will be no problems either. Getting through this wave. Anything you'll find here is it's not going to be the quickest run in the world. We don't have sort of single target nukers or anything like that, but we've definitely got enough about this team that's gonna get us through this content here. So we're kind of waiting on Venus now to get our AoE decrease defense and and it's, and weaken back up. That will help us to just kind of push through the damage and do more damage. Obviously we need to take out these side adds as quickly as we can before they start laying in the pain. Things like ally protection from a tyrant. Tyrant's actually good generally in this game. He's probably a bit underrated from a lot of people. But we've got life steal on what, four of these champs. So there's only Apothecary who doesn't have life steal on. So as long as we can just get these ads down, you see what I mean about speed, this is not fast. Fast getting through the waves, but I think we've got a situation here where we've got both the Tyrant and Venus won't do their AoE abilities while this ad is up, which is so frustrating. I don't know why the, well I do know why, but I don't feel like it's the right thing for the AI to do that. So now we get decreased defense on, now we're going to get that weak enough as well, see this? So all of these abilities that should have been going on, have not been happening because of the, the kind of the way the AI plays this part of the, the dungeon. Ads are going to come up. I'm not going to show you the whole fight. It's boring. We've got no danger of dying here. I'll just show you the end. Okay, so five minutes thirty-four. It's not the quickest team in the world, but it is a definite clear. We've got no problems with that at all. That's cool. Um, so lastly, then we just want to get into clan boss and see how this clan boss team runs. So we've built it for nightmare. Um, the gear, let me just show you some of this gear. It's probably, I've got to say, it's some of the worst gear I've ever had to work with. And I, I've actually gone against every fibre in my being. I've got to have flat stats across the board. I've got weird sets on. I, there's just no gear. There's no gear to work with in this account. It looks like there's loads of gear. Check out these, these bits that I've had to leave just so that we've still got some stuff there. Look at these flat stats everywhere. I mean, this just needs a literally like a full-on like a dumper truck to empty this stuff in the bin. It is like tragic, tragedy. Part and Cows would have a great time in this account. There's flat stats everywhere. I know he loves them. Um, yeah, it's it's awful and really hard to do any work with. So, you know, when you've got no speed sets, when you've got no lifesteal sets and you really need lifesteal. I guess I could have run without lifesteal with Valk, um, but basically what it means is I've got Valk at 172 speed, decent defense, but not amazing. Um, we've got Venus at 179, so she's fine, and okay defense for her base. 
Uh, we've got Tyrant at 174, and again, he's in pretty good shape. We have got Tyrell. Tyrell's build is shockingly bad. I'm really bad. I'm really sad about it. He's got really bad speed, 142, but he's got pretty decent defense and good accuracy. So he's pretty much there to make sure that decreased attack goes on all the time. Uh, so one, two, three, four, and then Morsi and Mage is going to be in there as my cleanser. So he's got 177 speed, which is fine. So all in all, it's okay. Tayrail's build is shocking, really. It's one that definitely needs work, but we just need more gear on this account. So just going to go in. Actually, I just need to check everybody's masteries. I didn't check everyone's. Let me just make sure that is in good place. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that's all fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, it looks like we've got a good grasp of masteries here. Uh, so this one here could be a problem, but given that his speed is so slow, he's not speed tuned at all, I can leave it there. Normally though, we would come through into this ability if we were doing a speed tuned team. Uh, so that's okay considering where we've got him. And this build is PVP, so we need to change this. So it doesn't need accuracy. It's not, a, it's not a champion and needs accuracy, for certainly not for clan boss. He does have one sort of thing which would use accuracy in his build, but I think we'd rather go and take the defensive route here. You could go down this route and get lasting gifts, which is a nice option as well, actually. In fairness, that maybe that's maybe it's better, I'm not sure. Both both very good. But yeah, we're good to go. So let's get ourselves in front of this beast of a clan boss and see if we can't punch out a bit more damage. So teams change, we don't have the speed guy in, we don't have a cult brawler in. Be interesting to see if Venus alone can pick up the poisons that I need. Um so we got him in there. Who else do we have? Who else? Who else? Who else? Tyrant. There we go. She's on a blue affinity here for this fight. So we're going to have struggle with Valk, but she's probably the most beastly in terms of her shields anyway. So the way this will work, I'm just going to run on auto, but we get our defense down and weaken on. We also get things like the decreased attack from our Tyrell. And there it is. And then basically we rely on the poisons to come out of Venus. You see the poisons just kind of ticking up nicely. Um, so I'm going to let this run through. I'll come back in when we're near the end and just show you how we've got on. Okay, so we have landed on 20.8 million, which is pretty decent. There was a definite two key. It was full auto. Venus is doing the lion's share of the damage. I do wonder, actually, if I throw a cult brawler in instead of Morsi and Mage, if we just do more damage there, um, because we have poisons up more of the time. Also, Tayrail's build just needs to be improved. If Tayrail's build improves, then we do more damage anyway, fact. So all in all, pretty happy with that. Uh, I think it's time to hand the account back. So we've got a, a nice golem team, which works 100%. We've got a Fire Knights team, which is easily going to sort of shred through some more of the levels. And we've got a, a clan boss team, which is full auto, two key in. Um, we've got a lot, of, a lot of items still to throw in the bin, but that's going to be some work for the future because he needs to farm a few more up. This is Hell Hades, signing out.